Hey there, internet. I was just uh, messing around with my contraption here. Uh, this is a, a spindle housing for an X1 mini mill. And this is a, well, this is the uh, shaft for it. It takes up Morse Taper 2 tool. And uh, what I've done is I got these uh, machinable Morse Taper 2 um, blanks and I uh, machine them down to the right dimensions for these diamond cups and uh, mounted them on here. They seem to be running very true and so I was playing around with that grinding some stuff. Um, I need to finish the mount. Obviously I've got this clamped up which is my normal ML. But I was, uh, I was watching Mr. Pete talk about vertical shear cutters and I found another video where somebody had done one with an indexable carbide one. But I remember that I, I had three of these things that I got in a box with the, uh, the mini lathe that I have. So I was looking at them and I saw that they had a pretty decent angle. And so what I did is I just took them and I freehand polished them on my 400 grit diamond wheel. And I uh, took them over here to the lathe stuck it in a tool holder and it's 10 degrees in the tool holder so what I'll do is I'll, I'm gonna chuck up some stock and I'll just give a quick demonstration of how this pretty crappy carbide brazed carbide tool uh, how this does as a vertical shear tool so the first thing I'm gonna do is just do a quick cleanup pass since these shear tools are only supposed to take off a very small amount of material. So I'm just going to clean this up with my handy dandy electronic lead screw. So that's a pretty good surface finish. I'll tell you that the way I got this lathe, there's no way I could get anything close to that before without the modifications that I made and without the electronic lead screw. But we're going to give this a pass with the old vertical shearing tool and we're going to see how this goes. So let's fire it up. All right, so we got some rubbing of these wispy little chips here. It's uh, it's like steel wool. Maybe this is how they make steel wool. Very fine. That was at 0.1 millimeter per revolution. I don't know if you can hear that. A little rough. So we're going to change the pitch. We're going to go to 0 0.03 millimeters per revolution. We'll run it back.
There it is. You can really see how fine these uh, these second set of cuttings. I, I advanced the cutter in about five hundredths of a millimeter, and that feels pretty soft. So I think that's, uh, other than the chips rubbing, which is definitely a problem, um, I think that's a pretty good result. Let's see if I can't get it in a little closer here. So this is the uh, finish. It's pretty reflective. I got quite a lot of cutting oil on my fingers. So uh, yeah, um, vertical shear tool out of a brazed carbide uh, piece of junk that I probably wouldn't have used for much else. Thanks for watching.